welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan May. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, hello again. We're going to be really up close and personal today because I'm going to walk you through some of the dresses that I would have liked to have worn to my bridal shower but did not end up wearing them. I'm going to show you the one that I did end up wearing and I'm going to show you some dresses that I would wear to a summer wedding if I were attending as a guest. First up is this dress from Aritzia. You may have seen it in one of my previous Aritzia try on haul videos. It is so beautiful. It is really lightweight. It's flowy. I would consider this a baby doll. I love this style of dress. I think it's so perfect for a summertime wedding because it is, again, super flowy, really lightweight. The material is very breathable. It is a gorgeous color and it has these little white flower details that I think it just like screams bridal shower, baby shower. It is just such an elegant dress, but also like you can dress it down. You can put some cowboy boots. I think it would just be such a very versatile and cute style of dress. This is one of the dresses that I was considering wearing for my bridal shower. I low-key think it looks stunning on, um, so I kind of do wish that I did wear it, but the dress that I did end up wearing my bridal shower is literally top-notch. You guys are going to die when you see it and I'm happy I went that route and not this one but obviously I love this color I got this dress from Amazon and it's from the seller pretty garden I love that it has like a little slit here I love the tube top dress style I think it's so stunning especially in the summer because then you can have like bare shoulders add a little bit of highlight and contour and honestly I think it would just like elevate the look and you would look like a glowing goddess this is what the back looks like. I feel like this dress speaks for itself. This dress is obviously so gorgeous on many different levels. This dress, I'm in love with it for obvious reasons. You can tell by the flowy sleeves and the lace, the low back. It is just a whole art piece. And whenever I put it on, I always feel like a princess. I took it to Italy right after we got engaged and I wore it to the most beautiful hotel. And I literally felt like Italian royalty. It is so beautiful. This dress is just a whole moment. And I think that you could wear this definitely as a bride. I don't think I would wear this as a guest. I'm just really excited to wear this because I know every time I wear it, I always get tons and tons of compliments. So just keep on coming. This dress is honestly such a vibe and it screams garden party, bridal shower. I paired it with this long white cardigan. I think that'll just allow me to be a little bit more comfier. If it's colder in the venue, then at least I have this to keep me warm. I put this dress on and I knew that it was gonna be the dress that I was wearing at my bridal shower. This one is so gorgeous with the ruching and the corset. It is, it's just, it's just everything I envisioned in my bridal shower dress. And honestly, like the photos, everything turned out so gorgeous in this dress. This is what the dress looks like without the sweater. It is still very flattering. There's just so many good things that I can say about this dress, which means that you just have to buy it. All right, you guys, that is it for my bridal dress try on. If you're a guest, if you're a bride, these are just some options that I would consider but also have considered for my own shower. I have a bunch more dresses, some that I actually will be wearing to a wedding or weddings coming up in the future. So I can also do a part two of this try on with more bridal guest options. Let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do a part too. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and as always, I will see you in the next one. May and May out.